So with Stuart from Blackmagic Design Europe, and I just want to ask you a quick question about the subscription update thing that was announced. As you can see, this is a really big release, and there's even more features than this. So DaVinci Resolve 20 is, a free, is free to download. The paid version of DaVinci Resolve Studio is also free. We'll probably eventually charge some kind of upgrade for this, but for the moment, we're still doing the DaVinci Resolve Studio upgrade free. Now, as you know, I've been on Resolve for 15 years. Um, I think when you introduced the first subscription model, I bought my license then. I've never paid since, which has been a real, uh, a major plus point for Blackmagic, most no subscription models. So what, what's he, what do you think he's talking about? Okay, so there's two different things. We've got subscription and then you've got upgrade fees. Um, there's no intention to go to a subscription model. That's not something that we've, we've talked about. Um, what Grant was talking about was that at some point in the future, there may be a small charge for an upgrade fee. Okay. So at the moment we're at version 20, there's no plans in the near future to go say, okay, we're now gonna upgrade 21 is gonna be X, 22 is gonna be Y. This is really just a, just a, a, a something that Grant is trying to do, to be honest and open about people moving yeah. forward. I think when you look at the volume of tools that have been implemented into version 20 and you also look at a number of engineers and the team that we've built to really support these new features all that obviously comes at a cost yeah 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 um, and, and i think that for us what we want to try and make sure is that we continue to deliver the best possible features um for all of our customers and and if we were to do an upgrade fee it would be very very small yeah um, but certainly also at the same time what we wouldn't want to do is alienate existing users who've already purchase the software so it wouldn't be a case of going okay we're going to charge an upgrade fee and everybody has to pay that amount if you don't want to pay for that um, upgrade fee then, then clearly you, you won't have to pay for yeah. it i mean to be fair i've had probably 10 new versions of software out of that original fee so i don't think it's that unjust but obviously yeah one of the big sales has always been that you're not a subscription model so you, you so it wouldn't be necessarily subscription you're talking about one-off fees exactly it'd be one, it'd be one off fee. i mean for us we've always been about keeping everything open as possible making sure that everybody has access to these tools i mean obviously the free version does 80 90 percent of what the full version does we've been running this under the black magic name since version 7 it's version 20 now so you know there's been a huge amount of investment and time put in it so um for us it's about making sure that we continue to deliver the best tools if we do put something in place in the future, which is an upgrade fee, as I say, it'd probably be very small. Okay, cool. I right, appreciate your time. No problem. Thank appreciate you very much. It. I'll see you at the bar later. Cheers. <laughs>